Hey guys, um, I just want to say today ain't going to be a very funny video. Today's not going to be a very humorous. We're going to get serious. And the reason why is because of the topic. This video is titled Death Why. We all face grief and we've all lost somebody we care about. And here recently at my uh, high school, a student was killed in a car accident. And a lot of people mourned it. The family has to deal with it. And I just want to give biblical principles and give some hope to those people on what grief is. Because everybody needs some hope in this time. In these times. So there's three things I'm going to cover toward the end of this video. And I want to put them out there before I begin. First thing we're going to do, I always do at these two prayers, we're going to do three. We're going to say a prayer for the family. Secondly, we're going to say a prayer of grief for anyone who may have known the kid or may have been in some relation with them of any sort. And thirdly, we're going to do our normal everyday prayer of salvation that I do. I wasn't going to do a video about this topic until God began to deal with me because, you know, most people, they make videos about what death is and they're like, they don't understand, they don't understand. But, I mean, he, God really moved me toward this because I had experience with that. I do understand what it's like to feel grief and to lose someone you care about. Because when I was not even five years old, I lost the closest person to me, my grandmother. For 13 years, I just fed on that and just let it torment me. So, before you even assume that I don't know what you're going through, which I know some of you won't, but just in case... Once you know, I've been there. Okay, I've felt the hell grief brings. And this isn't me trying to sympathize. This isn't me trying to be, to give you guys a personal experience saying, yes, I have been there. Been there, done that, road barked up that tree. And it sucks. Guys, there is hope. Around every corner. No matter how you feel. God wants you to know you don't have to feel that way. Why? Because. He says rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Regardless of the grief. You ought to rejoice in him. Because he will get you right through it. And I know it really really sucks. Because some of you watching this. Are either going to be friends or people that knew him. Really well. Or even his family, if this video makes it that far. I really hope it would. To see someone who's truly can I didn't know the kid. I really honestly didn't. But I can still relate to people who are grieving over him. Why? Because I've been through. I've been there. I've been there. I know what it feels like to lose somebody. That you love or you care about so deeply. That you would jump off a bridge with them if they, if they, if, if they want you to. That's how deep these emotions get in us. That we are willing to do anything for our closest loved ones or friends. I know how it feels. Most of you wanted to probably like in your teens. I was five. Five years old. Not even four. Because it was in December of 2002. My birthday's in January. It sucks, I know. I know it does. Trust me, been there, done that. I've seen it. Imagine a five-year-old. Because I had turned five around her funeral. I was still four, but going on five. Imagine a four-year-old. Having to walk past his grandmother's casket. Not knowing what it means. All he knows is that I'll never see her again. I know. I know what it's like. Even though I didn't know the guy. Even though I had no idea. 
who he was. I still can relate. And that's why my heart's going up to those people that knew him, his family, his friends, his boyfriend, his girlfriend, if he had one. That is why I'm making this, because I want you guys to know, after 13 years of that garbage, I'm 18, it lasts until I was 17. God got me through it. And all it takes is you saying, God, take this parasitic infection of grief away from me. It's too heavy a burden for me to bear. It's too heavy a burden for me to bear. I cannot bear this burden, God. And because he loves you, he will take it away. For 13 years, I kept it in and didn't, didn't pray on it. Finally, a week after my 17th birthday, I began to think on it more. Then on her birthday in July, I broke down completely. I just said, God, if it be possible, take this away. And he did. That very moment, I was calm. I felt it just leave. As it was lifted off of me, I began just to say, thank you, Lord. From the time that happened to the time I went to bed, I could not stop thinking. Because it... It just was gone after 13 years. Guys, that's all it takes. Is a moment where you just say, God, I can't do this anymore. I cannot live with this anymore. I know some of you it may last a day. Some of you it may last longer. I want you to know that if you are dealing with any kind of grief in your life, God will take it away. He will cure it. And he'll get rid of it because he loves you. I want you guys, first we're going to say, we're always going to cover the family in our prayers for a moment. If... If you're a believer out there watching this, I want you to say this, but we're going to touch the family. Lord Jesus, I know it must be crushing the family to lose someone like that, their own son, brother. But God, I know you are a God that will relieve it. Because God, you don't want us to suffer. You don't want none of us to feel that pain. So, Lord Jesus, I just ask that you cover the family and you lift it off of their shoulders. And let them feel peace. Let your presence bring peace and healing and restoration in Jesus' name. Amen. I for all those that may be feeling, feeling in pain, feeling grief. Just recite this prayer with me. And it's kind of long. You don't have to recite it, but I got it. Off the web, Christian website for prayer of grief. It says, Lord, at the moment nothing seems to be able to help the loss I feel in my heart. It is broken and my spirit mourns. All I know is that your grace is sufficient this day, this hour, and this moment by moment I choose to lean on you. For when I am at my weakest, you are at your your strength is the strongest. I pour out my grief to you and praise you. That on one glorious day when all suffering is extinguished and love has conquered all, we shall one day walk together again. Amen. Maybe you're watching this and you don't know the Lord, and I just want to go ahead and say the prayer of salvation. 
with you. I just want you guys to get to know him. Because he's my best friend and he could be yours too. Lord Jesus, I admit to you I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son and he died upon that cross for me on my sins. Lord, I confess with my mouth the sins I have committed and pray for your forgiveness. Lord, I thank you for you dying on that cross for me and I believe in you. And this day forward, I am yours. In Jesus' name, amen. If you go to the same school as him and you're watching this and you knew him and you probably know somebody who knew him who is upset, then I want you to show this to them. Let them see that there is hope, that God has given them hope and strength. Because I don't want them to suffer just as much as I don't want you to suffer just as much as I don't want anyone to suffer. And neither does God. So if you know someone going through the grief of him and you are watching this right now, I want you to send them the link Share it with them on some media. Show it to them personally. I don't care what you do. I just want you to show it to them. Let them see. And if you were encouraged by this video, I don't care. I would like you just to not only give God the glory for touching you and inspiring you, but just let just mention in the comments how it encouraged you because I would like to know how what to do next time I make a new video next week or I would like to have some advice or something guys I just pray you peace in this time of despair and distress let's spread this video throughout the school if we have to so that everyone know there is hope regardless of who it offends God is telling me to let it be a wildfire and let this inspiring word of hope spread. And I can't do it without your help. So if it takes something big, then let something big happen. Because Jesus wants to bring hope. Thirteen years I had no hope. So finally I asked for it and got it. That's all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. He loves you. I wish you peace and joy as you go through this situation. That's all.